Most people are getting their news for the first time through some sort of digital experience, whether they're reading that on Facebook, whether they're hearing it on uh, Twitter, or whether they're seeing it on their phone, or whether they're seeing it on a website when they're at work. My job is, is running ABC News Digital oversees all of those different areas, from the website, to all the mobile properties, to social, to the product side of things. And I think what really excites me and the things I've learned over all of these years is you have to have a great understanding of not only the editorial side of things, but the product and technology side of things. So we always talk about delivering on the 1,440 minutes of news. There's 1,440 minutes in a day. How do we deliver an ABC News branded experience every single minute of that day? Whether that's on television, whether you're on your phone, whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on Twitter, whether you're on a website, how do we continue to deliver that to you? Some of the biggest initiatives we're looking at are really in the live video space. Uh, we started this last year with the elections, uh, where we actually did our own coverage. Um, election night, we had over 10 million live streams going just of the ABC News digital coverage, which is just a huge, exciting opportunity for us. We're also very heavily looking at mobile. Uh, it's not just enough to take things from television and throw it on the website, which eventually makes it over to mobile. What do those experiences look like? How do we develop new experiences for that? When you're on your phone, you don't necessarily want to read some 10,000 word essay. <laughs> you probably want something that's two or three paragraphs. You want video that's shorter. You want to get to the point much faster. So we're really looking at that. You know, I think it's just very important to work very hard. And when I was an intern, I'll never forget, someone asked me to uh, get the newspapers one morning. And then I thought to myself, I remember thinking, and I was like, isn't there someone to do this? And then I thought, I'm that person. Uh, and I think that's an important thing to realize in your life, that, that you, know, you have to do well at what you're doing now and what you've been given, and especially as you're just starting in this, in this profession. And when I look at people, even in grade school and high school and college, you know, people who can shoot and edit and all the technology understanding that they have and also not afraid to see how that technology can go with editorial and, and kind of really playing with those experiences, I think have an incredibly bright future.